Let's turn to students. Thousands of them across the world have walked out of class as part of a global climate strike. This is ahead of the UN Climate Conference starting in Madrid on Monday. There's around 3,000 demonstrations that were staged in 150 countries. That includes the UK. Our science correspondent Victoria Gill, she reports from Manchester. We care about our future and we demand that those in power care about it as well. Another Friday, another climate strike. And as the scale of this movement grows, its message is becoming increasingly urgent. Youth strikers are trying to put an impending environmental crisis at the top of world leaders' agendas. It's a pretty friendly, even jubilant atmosphere here, but the banners that people are carrying have messages that are really stark. Essentially that we're running out of time to save the planet and stop climate change. And protests like this one are happening in towns and cities all over the world. The day of protest began in Sydney, where smoke from the recent devastating bushfires still hung in the air. Students took to the streets in Tokyo. And crowds of school children in Delhi, a city that's experienced hazardous levels of air pollution, joined the march. In Madrid, environmentalism and anti-consumerism came together in a Black Friday protest. World leaders will gather in Spain's capital next week for UN climate change talks that are being labelled as a last chance to act. We're all here for so many different reasons. And in Manchester, less than two weeks from a general election, that was the message from demonstrators. We're really, really close to getting past the point where we can't return. So I'm here in desperation and solidarity. Have you made different choices to try and limit your impacts on the environment? Yeah, I've recently gone vegetarian and we've stopped buying like, straws and plastic bags. Do you have a message for those world leaders that are gathering next week? We need to be listened to. You need to take action on climate change. Everyone needs to help. The richer nations need to help the poorer nations achieve this. And we need and the richer nations need to change and develop. Business as usual, which has led us to this place. These young voices will be ringing in the ears of world leaders at next week's climate talks, as scientists warn that those leaders are almost out of time to set the planet on a new trajectory. Victoria Gill, BBC News.